Today we're going to be looking at this Zadak SSD, it's NVMe based, it's capable of doing 3,500 megabytes per second on the read and 3,200 on the write. So on the front of the box you've got a cutout where you can actually see the SSD which is good, it's got the manufacturer's name, it's got the model number which is TWSG3 and it says it's an NVMe PCIe Gen 3x4 M.2 SSD, it doesn't mention the speed on there interestingly though. On the back of the box, it's multilingual, it just repeats what's on the front of the box in all honesty, otherwise there's a few QR codes, otherwise there's nothing much on there. And again, it doesn't mention what speed this is, which is quite interesting considering this is supposed to be a gaming brand as such, and it doesn't even mention the speed that these actually run at. Inside the box you've got the plastic casing and then you've got the SSD inside there, there is no unneeded manuals or paperwork. Okay, let's have a look at the SSD itself. It's got a quite a nice design on there rather than just a serial number and barcodes and stuff like that like you get on a lot of budget ones. The actual sticker is not just a sticker, it is a heat sink, so it does help dispel a lot of the heat on the SSD, which is a good thing, especially when they get fast. Uh, SSDs can get quite hot, even though the old myth was that when you buy an SSD it's going to run quieter, cooler and so forth. The newer ones can get very hot. On the back, that's where you've got your serial number, nice hidden away, and that's where I'd like it on most SSDs, to be honest with you. Otherwise, looks pretty straightforward for an SSD. You've got your standard connection on the end, and then you've got your screw hole there where you'd screw it into your motherboard. Okay, so we've got the SSD installed in there. It's hard to see because it's obviously a black motherboard with black SSD on, but it is there. We'll do some more pictures and B-roll just so you can actually see it. Uh, what we're doing at the moment is we're doing a quick test, which is roughly a 30 minutes test to make sure there's nothing wrong with the drive for initial checking. And then what we do is a full 48 hour test. And we do that by using what's called Eurosoft's PC Check UEFI. Now this is a professional program, not one of the free ones you get online, what a lot of reviewers use. This is actually one what a lot of computer shops use, a lot of system integrators, you know, the guys who build computers, pre-built machines, to test machines to make sure there's no problems. And that's what we're using here so it's basically an industrial scale testing program what is designed to specifically test specific parts or the whole machine okay the manufacturer states on the website that the read speed is 3500 megabytes per second and the write speed of 3200 one thing to bear in mind and even the manufacturer says this on the website if you do go for a smaller version you may find the speed might differ and obviously it depends on your machine and motherboard and stuff we know this machine is not limited because we've had like 7,500 megabytes per second drives tested in here, um, so there's no limitations. We're running a, a 13th gen 13700K i7 motherboard, you've got 64 gig of memory and so forth in here at the moment. Right, okay, so let's go through the testing. So, Atto, we tested with first, we got roughly 3.3 gigabytes, so 3,300 megabytes per second on the read, on the right, 2,900, so 2.9 gigabytes. So again, a little bit slower than what the manufacturer is stating, but we do find Atto is not as generous with its scores as other programs like Crystal Disk Mark. On the IOs, we got 1,666 uh, on the read, and on the write, 1,062. So that's 1,062,000 on the write. So gives you a rough idea there. Now we did test with Crystal Disk Mark as well. We got just over three and a half thousand on the read and just over 3,200 on the right so that's slightly above what the manufacturer says so I'd say average those two out and you've got pretty much what they say on the website but again it may differ depending on what you're doing but otherwise I can do nothing but recommend it it does everything it says it should I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.